is welcoming all who have joined from various locations globally who have adopted the beautiful path of purity who are contributing in decoration of brahmin parivar who are moving forward on the path of complete purity who are purest of your who have taken oath of purity in front of the ocean of purity and who are determined steady and great souls for whom even the supreme father is proud of we all welcome you all from bottom of our heart the purity which we love so much which made our life beautiful this purity if liked by whole world then there will be no problem this beautiful series of question answers is built to understand how to resolve the problems and hurdles we face while walking forward on the path of purity they may be either internal or external tulsidas is a character from copper rage 
When he got married, he was madly infatuated for his wife. He was very, very impressed and influenced by her beauty. Once, his wife was taken away to her parents' home at a nearby village by her brother while Tulsidas was away from home. When he came back home, not seeing his wife around, he became so restless and impatient to see her. He left his home right away on a stormy evening. He cannot even think that uh, he, can, he could have gone next morning. He crossed a river with the support of a log. Actually, it was a dead body floating. He climbed up to the second floor to his wife's room using a rope. Actually, it was a long snake. His wife, named Ratnavali, saw that how desperate he is. He was so blinded in physical infatuation, he did not realize about all those difficulties and dangers. His wife told him bitter words that how crazy he is for her perishable body. She hated him for such madness and told him that if he had such devotion for Sri Ram, then his life would have been great. He felt it to heart and transformed his life and went on the path of spirituality and wrote the scripture called Ram Charitmanas, which is being read in most homes in Bharat even today. So the path of purity is so fragrant that even a common man would reach to high peaks. So how can we walk safely and easily on this path? We have our beloved Bhaiji with us to throw some light on this topic. It is our fortune that we have Brother Shuris Bhai with us who himself is the son of knowledge, the son of purity. Today is the second session in the series. Om Shanti. I welcome all brothers and sisters. The path of purity has been made easy when the Supreme Father himself came onto this earth in body of Brahma Baba. He became our teacher and showed us the Raja Yoga meditation. Purity has been praised in our scriptures and many religions practice purity but not so hard. The Supreme Father told us that to become pure you become yogi. So to be pure one has to become yogi first. That is the first requirement because we need to control our emotions and our organs of actions. We are walking on the path which is exactly opposite from which the rest of the world is walking. They say purity is unnatural. They do mockery. Impurity is natural Vices are natural because they have forgotten the original innate qualities of the soul. We have to walk on the way which is very different from the rest of the world. Baba, number one, gave us our memories and secondly, Baba taught us the Raja Yoga. In the practice of Raja Yoga, 
we got connected with Almighty, we receive the powers from the Divine, we can control our mind, and this is it. This is the formula of purity. So the one who practices meditation, yoga, more and more, they reach to the elevated state, and thereby the restlessness gets destroyed. It matters that how much we are in our original form, I am the point of light. I am soul. I am purest of pure. I used to be deity. Baba reminds us every day, 90% every day in Morley's, that he came and established the religion of deities. I have come again to establish the deity religion. You are a purest of pure and viceless. The more we remember about our previous qualities, the more we will realize about our deity qualities. All of them are stored in our subconscious. Today's theme of the class is yoga makes achievement of purity simple. Purity, constant practice of yoga will remove negativity. We become free of anger, lust, pride, greed, jealousy, hatred, negative feelings. We will become anger free. We will become near viceless and we reach closer to Baba. We just feel Baba with us as we become pure. Baba has said many times that the one who is viceless can connect with Baba wirelessly. We can communicate with Baba very clearly. There will not be any disturbance in those who understand very clearly what the Supreme Father is saying or communicating with them. Let us all decide this, that we just have to move forward and forward without looking backwards. The one who are powerful, the one who are intelligent, once they decide their path, then they will not leave it no matter what. What the one who are strong Brahmins, the one who are powerful, they did not move no matter how much difficulties they had to face. This is the battlefield. This is a walkway to war. No one can be pure in a year or two. It takes time. Baba has given us beautiful time to identify our original selves. I'm giving you a short practice study that you keep doing. I am angel of purity. Let us do the study. I the soul is shining in the forehead. I the soul reside in two body. One, the body of light and the second is this physical body. I the soul is in the body of light. 
Slowly, the physical body disappears. The body of purity. I am angel of purity. The golden rays of purity are spreading all around me. There is a pure aura around me, the divine golden aura. Sit within this aura. Just do this study without thinking much about the problems and hurdles. Just keep moving forward. They will come and go. Just do these beautiful studies. Keep practicing yoga. By practicing yoga and doing these drills, the glow of purity will emerge out from deep within and then the purity will show up in our behavior. Once the purity is shown in our behavior, we will attract many souls towards us, but we shouldn't get attracted to anyone. Make the purity our strength. The light of a purity don't just shine on the nearby but the strength of our purity should provide the support to the whole world we have to grow our purity to such higher level that everyone would bow down to us now we will take your questions Brother, when we have sadhana, practice of yoga, and the memory of five forms which Baba has given to us, the practice of purity becomes very easy. Today we will take questions from couples who are walking on Gyan together or any one partner is in Gyan. That is why I started with example of Tulsidas and his wife Ratnavali. The first question is the sister, the examples of Ratnavali. They all want their husbands would become like Tulsidas, but they don't want to be. The example of Tulsidas when his wife rejected and challenged him, the purity which was there deep down within him emerged out on the surface and he got lost in love of the divine. And then when someone is lost in the love of divine, they become poet. In their innate qualities emerges out. Our sisters who are goddesses of purity and who are Shiv Shakti, compared to Ratnavali, are emotionally invested in their spouses. They cannot be bold. They care for their spouses. My husband will be sad, blah, blah, blah. So this is not like taking away the sorrows. If they become Shiv Shakti, then their 
words will be powerful. So study for our sisters are I am goddess of purity. I am power of Shiva. I have the powers of Shiva in me. Then you will see what kind of power you will gain in your words. You can't say directly that I want to be pure, don't come near me. You must know the way of convincing. Find a peaceful time and mood to explain that what is purity. Who has come to explain what is purity? Who is asking us to become pure? To make them understand is very important. Talk in a royal way. I know you sisters have difficulties. I understand that some of your partners are violent too. Your spouses will become your supportive souls. Do this yoga study. It will be very helpful. As soon as you wake up in morning, do this beautiful practice of beautiful thoughts. The life is so beautiful. I am a victorious soul. I am goddess of purity. See the soul in your partner and think that this soul is very nice. This soul is also pure. This soul is God's child. This soul is supportive soul for me. Doing this five times every day in same order for 21 days will definitely bring good results. The next question is that the partner is asking that how can you take this big decision just by yourself? What should I reply? Many men have these questions. I understand that. But would you wait to get permission from your partner? If your partner would not give permission to walk on the path of purity, to follow the order of God for the whole life, then which way would you pick? If both of you decide together, then it's good. But if you think this path is beautiful, this path is benefactor, and if you realize that this life partner is just for the short span in this life, different lives, different life partners will be there, then you will be able to convince them you will have to become strong. There are some win-win methods to convince that you have to follow. You make pure food while cooking, practice the self-respect. I am a pure soul. Just remember that to emerge their purity from deep down. The next question is, couple has a beautiful relationship when they are both having or indulging in the same interest in life. But when one person starts walking on the path of purity, this weakens the relationship and the relationship becomes bitter. What do we do? The relationship is losing the special effects. Many people have such experiences. But 
We all know in current times how many relationships are sweet anymore. The relationships which is based on indulgence is not going to last for long. It doesn't have the natural sweetness and purity of relationship. The psychologist may say something different, but one thing we must understand is that the opinions of psychologists are based on research and the research is never complete and perfect. Psychologists do not have godly knowledge, so their knowledge is not perfect. I say it openly that if any psychologist wants to come into debate with me, I challenge them that I will prove that their knowledge is limited and incomplete. What if they come to know that what was the stage of human mind 100 years ago, 500 years ago, or 1000 years ago? Then they will change their mentality and opinions. Even Freud changed his thinking. Whatever he wrote before the age of 50 was different than what he wrote after the age of 50 years. He talked about the to channelize the energy. The mature psychologists tend to change their thinking process in later years. Only knowledge is not enough. Experience matters too. If you keep compromising yoga with sensual pleasure, then you will not be able to enjoy the super sensual joy of godly love. Baba has given ways to improve relationships with partners. Based upon today's theme of yoga and purity, without the study and proper practice of yoga and purity, we neither can make purity natural nor we can make partner a companion. Yes, brother, so we know the solution of the practical problem arising while walking on path of purity is practice of yoga. The next question is, when one partner is walking in spirituality and the other partner is not welcoming the idea of purity and his feeling and he is feeling depressed and uneasy, so is it injustice to that person because expectations in marital relationship are preconceived? What you said is correct. The other person too feel depressed. The relationship may experience bitterness because sensual pleasure is their priority. They got married because of that, to enjoy the sensual pleasure that is also true. But the time demands something else. We have chosen the godly path. I won't tell you to become cruel or heartless if your partner is unhappy and his desires irritate him but the path of purity is different. You can donate half an hour yoga to him. Make his mind peaceful. If he's sad, you don't become sad. That will affect the environment in the whole household. You must create the atmosphere of happiness in the home. I remember Mahatma Gandhi then called the youth of the nation to come fight to free the country. Mahatma Gandhi put a condition of celibacy to the youth. Many youth came and say that uh, their wives don't agree to this condition they become unhappy. 
Then Mahatma Gandhi replied, That's okay, then you make them happy. To make the country free is not your cut. It's not your capacity. He replied very straightforward to them. Then they had to think and they came back. And we can see the results. So the partners might feel depressed because they have to leave that sensual pleasure by force. But I'm telling you, you donate the half hour of yoga to them and practice to treat their subconscious. This will turn into happiness. There are many examples like this. Their depression will change into happiness. Yes, brother, many sisters have shared their experiences with us and even their partners have confessed their, their wives tolerated the tortures and brought me to Gyan. Yes, we all know that. You don't think that we are Kumar and we don't know about such things. Everyone does share their experiences and many share their stories with you. And you are sharing the churning of your experiences with us. This sister is asking that I am in Gyan for one and a half year. My husband is not allowing me to be pure. And even I have to listen to Murali hiding from him. I feel like there is no point in learning this knowledge without being pure. What should I do? Right now, you just let it go. How it goes. Many mothers and sisters have experienced this. It might take two, three years to get things straight. You become more tolerant, more polite. Your behavior should be such that everyone around you should appreciate that. You charge the water and have your husband drink it. Do the study of soul consciousness while cooking. Practice I am a pure soul. Just put these pure thoughts in food that by eating this meal, this soul is becoming cooperative, this soul is becoming pure. In households, there are two types of possibilities. Some places, sisters are powerful and at some brothers. Where brothers are powerful, sisters will have difficulties walking on path of purity. But if sisters are powerful, then they can make their path of purity easy. So be a little smart. Find your way without confrontation. Just let it be and keep doing yoga and soul consciousness practice on. So sisters will have to become lioness and powerful goddesses. Just don't think that I'm not able to become pure. There, be, there will be a purity revolution. And before returning back to home, each soul has to become pure. And the souls who belong to the deity family will become pure. The next question is that I would like to take divorce with my husband just on the reason of purity because it's not possible to be pure while staying with him. Look, divorces are so common in these days. There are so many divorce cases happening in Bharat for multiple reasons. They're not just because of purity or this type of reasons. It could be due to conflicts, fights, dowry, and many other reasons. You have to think and take a wise decision on your own. 
Then again, one has to think as a female living alone in society is a concern. So you think and take a wise decision. Is taking divorce is good or not? Yeah, that is why I said that you foresee the impacts and take a proper decision. You are a Shiv Shakti if you are walking on the path of purity. Your life will be filled with divine joy. But I emphasize that if you take divorce, then you will have to be determined to walk on the path of spirituality. Many people just uh, become a normal person. They take divorce but don't come across strong in a spiritual way. It, then it is not going to be uh, benef uh, benefited any which way. If you do take divorce, if you are taking the divorce, then be in godly service. Spend your life filled with joys of godly love. You may talk with senior sisters about this and take your decision with full understanding so that later on you don't repent. Later on you don't uh, feel bad about it. So the next question is exactly opposite to that. Because of the purity, husband is threatening to give divorce and do second marriage. If that person is a slave of desires, then he is independent. Now you leave your path or you just accommodate to him. It's your decision. If you do decide to stay on the path of spirituality, then be ready for the difficulties coming on the way. You can talk to the senior sisters and take their help. People generally perceive that Brahma Kumaris bring peace in life. But this Brahma Kumar is bringing conflicts and break households. So that make me think that am I doing disservice? That is true. Even Baba is talking about this in more or less. Baba used to do this sense of humor. When it comes to the point of purity, there will be conflicts and physical abuse in relationships. That is also true that there will be fights in the beginning and then peace will prevail. Many households just get uh, Just take a different uh, uh, environment. Husbands do get angry and they get frustrated by listening to the name of Brahma Kumaris. But they don't know that this purity is establishing the golden age. Once purity will brighten up the world. If you have understood the power of purity... You not only meet with God every day, but for many birds, you will be fortunate and wealthy of godly treasures. And you will get so many more benefits if you understand the power of purity. So that's our homework too, to make a list of attainments purity brings and look at it every single day. Evaluate these benefits compared with temporary pleasures and pleasures of senses. 
there is another question. That when I walk on the path of spirituality, my husband is a little bit upset about it. But then again, when I don't feel good, he takes care of me. And then he says that when you need me, you let me come closer to you. Otherwise, you just ask me to stay 10 feet away. <laughs> In this corona time, it is frequently said that social distance is mandatory, correct? It is a light humor, but your couple, your spouse is a very good soul. He's very understanding soul. You create good vibrations, well thoughts and well wishes for the soul. You feel blessed that he is Baba's child. You make him a good friend of yours. The good wishes and vibrations created early in the morning have a special impact and effects on the souls around you that can make this soul a good friend of yours. Practice and send him well wishes, well vibrations, well thoughts every single day. You support him as much as possible except in the impure indulgence. I walk on the path of purity, but sometimes the other person has so much forceful desire that is uncontrollable, and I cannot maintain the purity. Practicing self-respect is not helpful at that time. Yeah, this type of situations used to happen even during Sakar Baba's life. The force of impure desires is so uncontrollable at the time the person is not able to think about anything else. We see cases of rapes around us in Bharat and all over the globe that the sensual pleasure of short time destroys lives of so many. So, this lust is making humans blind in the lust. That is the reason behind all the problems in the world. Baba has said that if someone does this, it will not be your fault. It's not your sin, but there should not be any desires inside you, so you don't have to be disappointed. Keep practicing the self-respect on other times, not at that time. Do the yoga and you will conquer the situation. You don't think that if you don't have any desires, If you don't have any desires from inside, then it's not your fault. So don't be sad about it. There's an example that if a dog pees on a holy basil, the plant of holy basil does not lose the purity. So you should not feel guilty about yourself any which way. So the next question is, when we do dharnas in the beginning with so much power and enthusiasm, but as the time goes by, we feel heaviness and dragging at time. And it becomes like, it's so confusing. We cannot leave the dharnas or leave the path of spirituality 
or go back to the old world? Should we talk with the instrument teacher? If your instrument teacher is very intelligent and sh she can contain your information and advise properly, then definitely talk with her. This happens because we have just suppressed the desires and made dharnas by taking oaths. We have not channelized the energy by practicing our yoga. Even for the 70-year-old, it's difficult to control lustful desires. How to learn to destroy the seed of lust with the power of yoga? If we don't do that, it will, be, it will erupt any time. That is why if you just feel th this type of desires internally, then continue doing godly service. But if you have done something wrong physically, then you will not be able to do able to participate in godly services. In Baba's kitchen, because Baba cannot accept impure bhog. Make your checklist. Everyone has deep treasures of lust within. This is true whether Kumar, Kumari surrendered into Gyan or staying at home. How can we develop spirituality and channelize this lust? By, it is by four things. Practicing self-respect, powerful yoga study, practice five forms, and practice soul consciousness. These four aspects are a must of, for each of us. Minimum four hours of powerful yoga is required. Many people ask me such questions even though they have been walking in spirituality for 25 years or more than that. We must focus on sadhana. Otherwise, we will not enjoy the results of purity. If we don't have the powerful four hours of yoga, then we will not be able to control this lust. It's like when you are sick and go to a doctor, he asks you to, to follow certain regimen and gives you medication. You come home, you don't follow the regimen, even the medication you take. Some you take, some you throw away, and then uh, you just uh, comment that what kind of doctor is that? He cannot even cure such a simple sickness. Question is, um, you say that we must do this four hours of yoga, but we don't do it, then the impurity will be increasing more and more. What should we do? Do yoga at minimum four hours. Do Amritvela. Amritvela yoga has to be formed in the different ways. At Amritvela, the purity of environment and the, the time in, in fact, the, the time itself definitely gives a lot of power. Second thing, 10-10 ten, ten minutes throughout the day, sit in yoga at least three times. Baba has shown various ways to practice yoga and be in union with Baba. There are many drills available online. Do the drills that you like. Keep practicing as you do them. 
you will develop more interest in doing it. Another thing, while doing actions, turn these actions into actions of yoga. There are classes available online on karma yoga, which means yoga while doing actions. Churn the knowledge while doing chores, while cooking, while drinking water, drinking juice, doing certain household chores, sitting at an office desk, just like that, while driving. All these actions can be turned into actions of yoga. Just by being with Baba, be in soul consciousness. The thing is, we do this, but we don't feel it. We cannot focus on it. What should we do? You dedicate three months performing this routine. You will start seeing results in one month. Then don't expect anything if you don't follow the routine. Just like how doctor says that this will take six months to get cured, nothing will happen until six months. And then after a few weeks, more than six months, you will feel fine. Keep doing these practices, these drills, eventually you will see results and feel the results of it. You will experience. On the other hand, many other things are accountable for this. Our past accounts of karma, how much dedication we have doing yoga, how focused we are, all that matters. The practical question is, when dharana is broken, Baba has mentioned in Murli that if you fall from fifth floor, then you, your fate is over. Then I lose all the courage and feel like now even Baba is not going to take care of me. Should I start again? That initial intoxication I had is just not there anymore. And when I hear such words in Murli, I lose all the courage to move forward. Baba is challenging that once you have fallen for the lust, you are gone. Baba wants all of us to be pure so that we can brighten up the whole world. That is why he is looking up to all of us, his children, with high hopes. Once Avyakta Baba and few, us, few of us were sitting at Pandavavan in a homely setting, nearby asked Baba that, Baba, you were saying such bitter words in Sakar, but now in Avyakta form, you have become very sweet. Baba said, look, when a kid is holding a sharp knife in his hand, we have to make some uh, make things up and make up some words so that the kid would leave the knife right away similarly similarly when the children are fallen from their dharnas i have to say that it's easy to say that start again if someone has worked in the gyan for 10 years and then they make mistakes, it's hard to come back up. But rise from a fall, win after a defeat, turn defeat into victory, never be defeated by defeat. So stand up. Keep moving forward with double the force and enthusiasm 
do more dharnas, do more yoga, punish yourself with sweet punishments like I will do yoga for an extra hour today or I will eat less like that. So the punishments will actually help us in moving forward and elevates our efforts. So the other dharnas like uh, I will do more stronger Amritvela, I will use the wealth in a pure way according to Baba Srimad, just like that. So everyone has to think and uh, and do these sweet punishments according to their levels of comfort. Salibazi is often discussed keeping man in the center. But sometimes sisters may have an emotional need, physical need, desire to become a mother. Sisters are often considered as goddess. How can we help her in such situation? Because they cannot discuss this openly. It's natural that sisters may feel the need to become mother. We are in the confluence age. Now this is end of the kalp. We have met the God in this confluence age. If we have found the truth which we were looking for from many, many years, it's time to make an effort to meet with God and return home. So you, so you want to become a mother, but what if the kid is disabled by birth? Then what are you going to do? You will lose yoga and you will not get the joy of becoming a mother either. Everything will be lost. The offsprings in these days take birth to settle many karmic accounts. I'm not denying that uh, sisters have desire to become mother, but you should also take such things in consideration. I'm not, just, I'm not just saying this for the sake of saying. There are many examples like this. And then you will just keep crying, looking at the disabled kid all the time. Now, you see the dreams of becoming mother of Krishna. You see the dreams of becoming mother of a deity. Make mother-kid relationship with Baba. Then you become a great soul. The Supreme Father has come in the confluence age and brought sisters and mothers to the front and blessed them so that they can follow the path of purity with courage and ease. The Supreme Father has said, So, so you take your own decision. In society, when couples get married, they put pressure, the society put pressure on the couples to have at least one kid. And sometimes the couples them, themselves also feel the need of a kid to carry the name forward or to inherit the wealth, etc. I understand those emotions. Society looks down upon the couples who don't have kids. But if you become goddess, then won't the society bow down to you? It's up to you. I'm sharing one example. We have a mother who is in the Gyan. She had a kid who died last year due to Corona. She was hurt a lot. The kid died. He was the only kid. She contacted me. I consolated her. 
I tried to consolate her, but then she contacted a black magic magician. Now one year has passed since this happened, and that uh, that person promised her that he can bring that soul in her womb if she wants to wish for that. And then she came back to me, what should I do? I told her that you don't want to become an impure soul because then Baba will not be with you. She said, yeah, Baba will leave me. I, I asked her, do you want Baba to leave? She said, no. I told her that the soul of your son has already taken birth somewhere and the little one is playing in another mother's lap and gives so much joy to them. Do you want that little one to die again at this young age and come back in your womb? Is it necessary that he will live a long life then? What if he dies again soon? Then she came back to her senses. One has to take these decisions on their own. Your teachers and us will just give you good advices. The decision is ultimately yours. We need such light on certain problems from you so that, that it's easy to see through the situations and get clarity to remove the lemma. I would like to add more in this topic because I do see such cases. When young people get married, they are forced by society to have kids. Even mother-in-law, she is also in Gyan, she would still force their kid. I asked them to ask to have a year have a year on hand to have a kid. And then I had them do very elevated sadhana and yoga practices. After a year, others start saying to her that you are a great soul, you are a goddess. Their words changed. True, brother. One has to be determined. Sometimes people just come and say that our four generations walk in this gyan. Now, from where these four generations came, right? It's so funny. So, when you get a kid and start spending most of your time after the kid, and then you are in love and infatuation with the kid, and then you come to me and ask, we don't get time to do yoga. So I reply to them, now you be in yoga with the kid because you don't have time to do yoga with the Supreme Father. You will have to start again on the path of purity and then that will take some time. By the time this drama will be over and we will ha already have stepped into the destruction. The last question of today's class is, I'm not able to dive deep into the experience. Perhaps I'm lacking something. Hence, I'm just floating on the surface and face difficulties. How can I bring the depth so that the seed of impurity from within me and the thoughts of impurity from my partner gets destroyed completely? We need to refine our intellect because in refined intellect only the knowledge, the depth is created. I have this particular Morley that I have read 11 times and I still read it and every time I understand it in a different depth of knowledge. We need to do study of self-respect. Experience comes through studies. We see others as a soul. We practice self-respect. Find how we get 
work done easily, how nicely others behave with us, how we are able to destroy our ego and anger from within. So keep doing such good practices. Clean your intellect. Even adopting the path of purity, the toughest one, some people just keep doing best thoughts. They can adopt the purity, the toughest thing, but they cannot control their anger, their jealousy. So such impurities will not let you move forward. Purity, which people say it's impossible to follow, but certain people cannot leave their vices even after adopting the purity. Refine thoughts. Leave mine and yours differences. Be pure from mind, speech and action. And then you will see nice results and experience the knowledge. Thank you, brother. It will be great if you can lead all of us into a meditation experience and create a further depth of knowledge within us. Let us practice the study of five forms of the soul. That is to make a pure thought. I am purest of pure. I am goddess of purity. I am a pure soul. The golden rays of purity spreading in all directions from within me. Visualize the aura of purity is all around me. I, the soul, is in the land of peace, in the land of purity. Sit in the purest place, Paramdham, in deep silence. From there, I descend in deity world. Visualize pure, divine, golden-hued body, double-crowned, crown of light, of purity. I am complete, voiceless. I'm 16 degree complete. Full of divine virtues. Istadev form. I am a Ganesha or eight armed goddess Durga. I am destroyer of devils. Destroyer of sins. I am the goddess who can make devotees pure by my gaze. I am best Brahmin.
king of all senses. Doing elevated efforts to be pure soul. My hand is in God's hand. I am an angel, angel of purity. I, the soul, is present in the sparkling body of light, pure golden rays from Supreme Father are shining on to me. I'm purest of pure soul. Om Shanti. Really, this was very divine experience. Yoga is the instrument which makes path of purity natural. Baba f- said in the first session that, O oh children, be yogi, be pure. So we have to become yogi first when we walk ahead with determination then we definitely see the results. We have Almighty Baba with us. As we become yogis, purity becomes easy. So we do face hardship problems. But to establish something new, difficulties will always be there, but there will be a golden morning when we have the Almighty with us, we follow the Supreme Father, so His blessings, His power are always with us. We just have to be determined and keep following Father. I'm thanking Brother from bottom of my heart. Your words of wisdom will definitely help us. Thank you very much to all of you. We will wave goodbye to Brother with one hand.